Let's push on to the Europa League final on Friday. Sevilla and uh, Inter Milan meeting in Germany. Gab, I'll start with you on this one. Inter Milan already into the Champions League. How big a deal is this in Italy and for Inter Milan and Antonio Conte? Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is their first final in 10 years. Antonio Conte has never won silverware in Europe. Uh, he's come close before and he threw it away. Uh, this, is, this is absolutely huge. Obviously, it's not comparable to 10 years ago uh, when they went and won the treble. But this whole idea that, oh, it's just the Europa League, it doesn't really matter. Um, people who say that are generally people who uh, field B teams in the Europa League and lose and then come up with excuses. I think this matters tremendously to, uh, to Antonio Conte. It really bothers him that people say he can't, says he can't win in Europe. I think it matters to the club that has had very little to cheer about for the last 10 years. And uh, I think this is huge. I think everybody's hyped and amped, and they have max respect for Sevilla because it obviously matters to them, too, despite the fact that, you know, they've won it, what, three times in the last uh, uh, six or seven years? All right, Gab, let's get some predictions. I'll start with you. Who you got in the final? <sighs> max respect. So I think it's going to be really, really tight. I'm just going to lean Conte very, ever so slightly. I'm going to say Inter to win 2-1. All right, enter to win from Gab. Ale, who you got? I love the double buff, bluff there by Gab. I thought, oh, ah, so this is difficult. <laughs> this is you gotta hard. You got to sell it. Ah, this is Inter. Yeah. And it's Inter's to win and Inter's to lose. Sevilla, if they're going to have any sort of opportunity in this match, they're going to need help from Inter. At their best, if you take both of these teams playing at their full potential, there's no doubt in my mind that there's more talent on Inter's side and that Inter should win this. And if you have Romero Lukaku, and if you have Lautaro Martinez, who individually are better than anybody that Sevilla have in the attacking half, and then you put them together, it should all be about Inter and then winning this and winning this comfortably. Don, we know Sevilla's history in this competition. You give them any shot against Inter? I'd give them a shot if they take it all the way to maybe extra time and make it a dull game. Um, but I don't see it happening. I think, first and foremost, Antonio Conte will have to stop Eva Benega because he was, in my opinion, in the second half against Man United. I thought he absolutely ran the show. I thought he was terrific. So, you know, they put a lot of work into that result, Sevilla, where I think, obviously, Inter beat Shakhtar by five and it was comfortable. And Conte took his best players off of about 10, 15 minutes ago. So they were so, sort of mentally rested. So I think they'll be a little bit fresher going into this game. And I'm with the guys. I think if it's if it's a semi-open game, which Inter will want, I think they win because they've got too much firepower. Even in midfield, they've got too much. The only way Sevilla can win this is if it's maybe a boring nil-nil. They take it to extra time and nick it on pens. But I'm with the guys. I see Inter winning it probably comfortably. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.